uh, somebody, a processor like me, you are supposed to be, to know what you want. For us as Dira at Uganda, we realized that uh, my dream was to make juice from the fresh fruits. I could not do it in the city. I had to go to the area which is good for mango farming. That is in northern Uganda. Start from Noya after Karumu up to southern Sudan. All those areas, the research was done in the 50s. It's good for fruit production. So I went to the area where the fruits grow best. And I could not be successful alone, minus working with the community, smallholder farmers. Their job is to produce the quality fruits. My job is to do variation. But we had to put the Delight Farm Institute to train us, train them, and to do the technical know-how and transfer from the knowledgeable class of people, especially the professionals, to work with us in the private sector, and the private sector also to work with the smallholder farmers. We learn and master the complete value chain of fruit farming as a business. That's why it needs a combination, the training, the professionals, the practitioners, and also the youth, those who are still energetic. The biggest challenge was the technical know-how to master fruit farming as a business. Starting from the nursery, how do you raise the quality fruits, to the orchard, how do you manage the orchard, disease and pest, post-harvesting, the nutrition part of it. You must know how to do it and you must be committed and be there to run in the field not to sit in class but to learn in the garden on how to do it even our mode of training is hands-on we saw them how we do it when they do it for us they go home and do it this memorandum means a lot to delight uganda limited simply because there is what private sector can do but when we collaborate with the Ministry of Agriculture, that means we are bringing the expatriates from Ministry of Agriculture, from NADS, from NARO, to come and we work together, especially on those challenges. And we are also going to join up at our institute to train whatever we don't know better. They, they bring in the expatriates, they come and we train our smallholder farmers, our youth, on how to do it in the field. Ours is different. Our Delight Farm Institute is different from others. It is the only institute which trains the informal sector, those who have never gone to school. They train them on how to do it and we also train them in their local languages. You saw them, you see like the fruit fries is our biggest challenge in the quality. You saw them, this is a fruit fry. You manage it like this and this. You saw them, this is a disease. You manage it like this and this. And you, tr you translate it in the local language so that even somebody who have never gone to, C to P1 must know how to handle the pests and the diseases in their farm. To me, the outbreak, the first time they closed up, one, I had not paid my workers. I had to rush to look for money to pay my workers, especially in Kawempe, and we closed up the production of two years' juice because the schools were closed up. We did not have a market. The first two weeks, I was totally stranded in a way that I didn't know what to do next. But after that, I said, you know, I must go to the farm. I opened up the institute. We started training ourselves. We cleaned the farm. We trained the people who would come in because we are living now as a, as a family. We worked so much. To me, I benefited because of that COVID, because we, that is the time we had the time to take care of our orchard, to take care of our nursery, to also to do the community how to reach on a limited scale. But we benefited a lot during that time because we had time to concentrate on our core business, which is a farm. Oh.
all the people we have who have journeyed with us, we are so grateful. I can't forget to thank the people who enjoy Cheers drinks because if they don't buy Cheers drinks, I can't have money. But one thing I want also to tell the people to remember your dream because my dream since 1996 was to make fresh juice from the fresh fruit. I'm still pursuing my dream. I sincerely believe that if we concentrate as Ugandans and we work together, poverty will be no more. Let us believe in ourselves, let us work hard and let us learn how to do not to have the knowledge and we stay in offices, we must get out and work. Since 1996, I've been employing people. There's the time we employed up to 400 people, 300. But this time, I stopped the direct employment. I have very few, they are like 68. I use contract workers because when you pay people salaries, at times they don't mind to work hard. So we contract people that we want to do this work, you do this, I pay you for whatever you do. Because now we value, value for money. Every portion of work done is done on a contract and we pay now and then. But the use I'm working with 6,000 young people under did I work with younger people. It is funded by MasterCard Foundation. We are working with uh, 3,000 women, uh, partly funded by UN Women. And uh, all the use I can say in Oya District, we are working together. Yes. <music> Thank you.